everybody, it's Karen here from tapascolor.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, this is the card that I've been making today. It is a TP card. And when you stand it up, it looks like that. Now, it's one of those cards that, uh, if you don't know how to make them, they actually look really impressive, but they're very, very simple to make. And if you stay with me, I will show you how I made it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my squares of card and I'm going to score corner to corner. Um, and to help me do that, I've drawn a mark all the way down the channel at the six inch point on my scoreboard. Just took a Sharpie marker and just ran it along the channel. And that now allows me to line up that corner with my six inch point and to make sure that this corner is in the same channel. And uh, that is a very, very helpful thing to do. And I'm just going to score my delightful Dijon card. And now when I fold it, oops, it's folded corner to corner. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing on the other two pieces and I'm going to uh, burnish them with my bone folder. Oh, and by the way, Delightful Dijon is one of the in colors that's going to be retiring at the end of May. So if you like this color, uh, and you want to stock up, now is the time. Okay, so I'm just going to get on with this and then we'll move on to the next step. Now I'm going to trim my pieces of DSP corner to corner in the same way so that they... I'm going to trim the Urban Underground DSP corner to corner so that it will be a nice fit on the front of the card. So I'm lining up the corners with the cutting channel. Okay, that's the channel that the little blade runs along and I'm just slicing corner to corner and I wind up with two pieces just like that. And I'm going to go and do the same on these other two pieces. Now I'm going to put the DSP on to my base card and I am going to be using liquid adhesive to do this because I want a really good level of stick. Right. And I'm just lining that up so it's got a little bit of a um, a little bit of a border all around, just kind of eyeballing it. And I'm just going to go on and uh, do the rest of them. The next step is to put my panels together and I've done a little bit of playing beforehand and decided which way around I want them to go. Uh, so I'm going to start by sticking this panel to this panel and the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to apply some adhesive all along this edge here and a little bit into that corner. And I'm just going to move that out of the way. I'm just going to line these up edge to edge and corner to corner. Just like that. Okay. And now I'm going to do the same thing 
with this one. So a bit of a decive all the way along that edge and about halfway in, maybe a spot there as well. Okay. And again, edge to edge and corner to corner, point to point. While the glue's having time to dry, I'm going to go and do some stamping on my little scrap of Very Vanilla. And I've got my best guy ever stamp mounted up onto my clear block and I've got my basic grey archival ink and um, I'm going to stamp this twice and I'm going to stamp right close to the end of my Very Vanilla card here. So just excuse me while I go hold that down and count one, two, three, four, five take that away right and I'm going to do the same over on the other end and I, again I'm stamping quite near to the edge of the I've spun uh, I've made a, a mark there but that's not going to matter and you'll see why in a minute okay and I'm just going to count one two three four five okay let's put that away put on one side to be cleaned okay so now I'm going to come in with my scissors and I'm going to kind of cut this sort of roughly in half. All right. And I'm going to cut out the vest. And the ever from this end. Okay, and I'm just going to trim that down a bit because too much at the top and the bottom. Okay. And as you can see I'm not, you know, I'm not being too fussy about cutting straight and all of that stuff because really it doesn't matter. I want that kind of distressed sort of look. Now the reason why I cut it twice was so that I had a little bit, uh, I could allow myself a little bit of a margin between Best and Guy and Guy and Eva. And if I just cut it, well as you can see that's what I do if I just cut it into three just on the line. I don't have enough space left over. Okay, so that's my stamping done and those bits are scrap. So we can get on with de the rest of the decorating. Last time I made a card like this, uh, I used magnets for the closure. Uh, this time I'm going to use um, hook and loop Velcro spots to do that. Uh, and it's going to close like that. Okay. Now, magnets are fantastic if you're giving a card to an adult and uh, somewhere where there aren't small children. But you really don't want to be giving anything with strong magnets on. And the magnets that I use are very, very strong. If you are you're giving this to... Uh, anywhere where there are small children because uh, they really can do a lot of damage if swallowed. Now I'm going to start with just going to pick them, try and pick them up in pairs and I got the smallest hook and loop dots that I could find anywhere in the world which was eBay. Okay all right that one wants to come out so let's start with that one. Now this is going to go over the top so the, the pieces are going to so kind of stick along there and we'll start with one I'm actually going to be quite generous with the velcro spots on this card because you know what I can and why not you know I'm just going to pick them up in pairs and I'm going to just position them on the edge there. All right. Now, one of the things that I find about the adhesive on the self-adhesive hook and loops is it's not all that good. And when something is being opened and closed a great deal, as this is going to be, uh, I want a bit of extra insurance. So I've put a little bit of liquid adhesive onto the spots as well. Okay, so I'm going to line that up with the seam there. Can you see that? And I'm just going to bring these over and I'm going to press firmly 
on the inside of the card. Okay. I've let that adhesive have plenty of time to soak in and to set up, so hopefully, fingers crossed, when I take my card apart, the Velcro spots stay where I left them, so I'm very happy about that. So now I'm going to start putting the, uh, the decoration onto the card. And I'm just going to have a play about a bit with this, I think. Because I'm going to... This is, panel is going to be the front of my card. Okay, so that when you open it up, if you want to write a sentiment on the inside, you've got space right there to do that. Uh, so this is going to be the front of the card. So let me have a little play with how I want these things to go. Best ever guy. But let's go with best guy ever. Let's go with the, the way that it was meant to be. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's have a little bit of the wet adhesive. Do I like it like that? Or do I like it like that? I like it. Okay. I'm just going to see how it turns out. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with uh, that. And I am going to line up. I'm going to keep those in line and the letters in line. And I hope that I've that I've stamped the pretty much same distance from the end of the card. Okay. And there we go. Best guy ever. Okay, so now I'm just going to play with the washi tape, bits of card and embellishments and uh, I'm going to see what I come up with. Well, I've just spent quite a lot of time uh, putting embellishments on, deciding I didn't like them and taking them off again, and putting washi tape on, and deciding that no, that wasn't working for me either, and taking it off again. And in the end, guys, this is just what I've come up with. It's quite plain, actually. So I've only really decorated this panel. I've left the others uh, plain, just covered in DSP, uh, because sometimes less is more, um, and uh, it it just wasn't working with me with the things that I had available so that is it for today and uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this card and uh, I hope you agree with me that that is quite an interesting shape of card and would work very very well as a card for a gentleman uh, and if you've liked this video then don't forget please click that like button and if you've really liked it then subscribe to the channel I'll be posting more videos very soon but for now that's it for today Thank you very much for joining me and I hope that I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.